So recently, I've been getting this question quite a lot on my main channel, which surprises me because, you know, I thought everyone knew about this, like how to use multiple accounts at the same time. I can actually add four or maybe even up to 10, depending on how powerful my computer is. I know for a fact my laptop can handle up to five accounts at once without lag. If I start adding six accounts, it's gonna lag. Well, actually, that's a lie. Depends on what I'm doing. Like, if I'm just standing AFK, not hatching eggs on every account, I can have up to 12 accounts in the game and it's not really gonna lag. It's not until I start doing some heavy stuff with the game. But anywho, so it surprised me that so many of kids are like, wait, how, how do you do two accounts and how do you not get disconnected? Well, how to not get disconnected is to get an auto clicker. There's many different auto clickers on on google that you can find all of them are free all the methods i'm gonna show you are free to use it doesn't cost you anything even the multiple account stuff gs auto clicker is the one i use you can google gs auto clicker and the way i use it is by clicking clicking options you 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 want to make this to double and not single because you want to double click on each window because if you just click one time on the window, it's not really going to click inside the window when you only click once. So make sure in the clicking options, you have set it to double. Left is okay. It's good. And then you got clicking repeat. I set it to five seconds. You can set it to 10 seconds. You could even set it to like, if you're hatching eggs, you could set it to like every 15 minutes because it takes 20 minutes before you get disconnected. But I just do it like every five seconds. If I was doing something fast, like grinding coins and stuff, sometimes you need to set, set it to like 100 milliseconds, you know? But I just think maybe it takes a toll on your computer. So I set it to five seconds. That was inside repeat. Now you go to this important step right here called recording multiple clicks. It has already saved my recording, but I'm going to clear it for this video. Are you sure you want to clear all records? Yes. Pick point. You click on this one. It has recorded that click now. Then I pick point again over here somewhere. Just make sure you don't click on any buttons. Okay. And then you can see it has two here and then I just press OK. And I have a, you need to have a hotkey. I think automatically inside the settings, the hotkey is set to F8. If not, make sure you go into settings, hotkey settings to make sure you have a hotkey. So when I press F8, it's going to start auto clicking. And I'm going to do that now. There you see, you see it clicked. And check the left screen. There you go. The On, on the other side, it's over there. And now it's going to go to the other window. There you go. And that's how you don't get disconnected. There's also auto clickers for phones, Android. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the Android stuff. Heck, I'll leave a link in the description for all the things, okay? That I'm gonna show in this video. The old way I used to use multiple accounts was this little thing called multiple game instance, but I don't use that one anymore. I use something called Roblox Account Manager now. And the thing about Roblox Account Manager is that it uh, it didn't work in the beginning or because of Bifron, Roblox had some security issues. So they, they enforced their security. Then it became not really possible to use the Roblox account manager, but people have found a workaround. And I thank you guys who helped me out in Discord. There is a workaround to make the Roblox account manager work. But first, I want to go over this multiple game instance. This one has had some bad reputation in the past because people have said that it might, it might be mining Bitcoin in the background. And I haven't seen any proof of that because this app doesn't really have any... Um, it's going to say Windows is going to say like it's not safe to use. But that's just because Windows hasn't approved it. You know, they have to they have to send in an application to Windows to be approved by Windows. So any app that hasn't done that will automatically say it's, it's not safe from Windows because it hasn't been approved. That doesn't mean it's it's a virus, okay? It just means Windows hasn't approved it. So yeah, this one is quite simple, but it's also annoying to use. In order for this to work, you will need to close your browser first. Or before you close your browser, you need to log out of Roblox completely. Log out of your Roblox account. Close the Google Chrome browser, whatever browser you're using, close the browser and then you open this app and then you can open your browser after you have opened this app. Once you open the app, it just shows up like this. You can't do anything with it. There's no buttons except for a link to their website that I never click on. And then you just like minimize it. You can't really. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> 
Well, that, yeah, you, you log into your main account, you get inside the game, and then what you do is you log out of your main account. You're still gonna be in the game, don't worry about that. Once you log out of your main account, your main account will still be inside the game. Then what you do is you log into your old account, and then you join the server, and it should work. But it only works if you've done the steps correct. So if it doesn't work, it means you need to log out of Roblox completely, close the browser, close the app, reopen the app, open the browser, log into your main account, then log into your old account, then it should work. And that's why I hate this app. Now, for the more better option, Roblox Account Manager. This is a little bit more complicated, but once you set it up, it's faster to, to do the process to get in. So you need to add your accounts. And when it does that, it asks you for uh, your login information, okay? So you need to make sure you have your login information. And then once you have logged in, it's gonna add your old, your accounts to this list. And you can even move them up and down like... You see that you can move them up and down. So then what you need is the place ID. The place ID is the ID of Pet Simulator X, for example. I mean, Pet Simulator 99. And the place ID of the game is not the VIP server. It's the actual game. Once you go into home, you know, go to Roblox home. You click on Pet Simulator 99 and it shows up here. You copy that one and you paste it here. Job ID is the VIP server link. And what you would do in the past to make it work, you would just click join server. But that doesn't work anymore, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna click join server now, and I'm pretty sure nothing will happen, it's gonna put up an error. And you can see my account here is highlighted, my main account is highlighted. This experience is restricted. Yeah, that's the problem, because of the Byfront security stuff. So what you do then instead is click open, you, 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 you copy the link to the VIP server, or it could also be a public server I guess. But then you wouldn't need the link. You wouldn't need the link. You just open in browser. Make sure your, your account is highlighted. Let me see if I can do both at the same time. Open browser, right? Then I paste the VIP server link. I hit enter, whatever. And you can see right there, it's gonna join the server with no problem. While it's doing that, you close that one. Here's the other window that it opened for the other account. Press enter after you, you pasted the code. And then you can just close this, minimize this. And there you go. Two accounts in at the same time. Yeah, if this video blows up, make sure to subscribe, please. I'll do more videos. I make videos on this on my main channel, but my main channel is not doing so well. So I'm doing pet simulator videos on a daily basis, basically. Okay. Also, if you're just going to use two accounts, you can, uh, I have this link in the description. If you're just going to use two accounts, you get the browser version for Chrome, you know, the regular version, but then you can also get the Windows version, but the Windows store is super annoying and it never works. So shout outs to Rayan from my Discord. He gave me a link to the Microsoft store itself, so you don't have to download it from the Windows app store. Because the Windows app store, it never really, it never worked for me. So just click on get free and you download it. And then you can open from your browser and on the Windows because it's two separate apps. So you can log into your old and your main account. That way, instead of you, yeah, if you're just gonna use two accounts, I would go for this method. But if you're gonna use at least three accounts, go for the Roblox account manager. And the one I showed in the beginning, the red one, multiple instance Roblox, the one that looks saucy, that one can open up to 10 or 12 or more accounts if you want to. So yeah, there you have it. Smash like on the video if you found it useful. And uh, star code RAM if you're gonna buy some Bobox, I appreciate the support. Yeet!